Hi, welcome back to Genuine Coral. This is the ninth video in the Java FX Library Management System tutorial series. And in the last video, we have completed the design for the main window. I mean, this window. And now we have to attach listeners to this button. Before doing that, we have to make some modification in the database handler initialization. I mean, when I press on this add member, I want to call the add members. I, I want to load the member add fxml file. The problem with loading is that for each and every window that we have created, we have used a separate database handler, which means you can't have two instance of the database handler class at once. Uh, before loading one handler object, you will have to shut down the previous one. So that is not practical in any case. So suppose if you have opened the add member and you are going to see the list of members, the program will crash. So the solution to this problem is having a single object of this hand that database handler shared across every class that is uh, that requires the database access. For that, we can make this database handler giving only one handler object to all the classes and that can be easily constructed for that i am going to make this database handler constructor private so no classes can create a direct object of this hand database handler class instead i am going to use make use of this database handler handler object first i am going to create a static class public static database handler get instance so this will allow us to by calling the database handler dot get instance method we can get the object a database handler object and first when the user calls the database handler get instance method we will have to check whether the handler is null or not if the handler equals null if the handler equals null uh, first we will have to set it to null then we have to create a new instance of the database handler and return it so database handler handler equals new database handler the uh, constructor is accessible to this class even though it is private so we got a new instance of the class then return database handler so that's it it is as simple as this so what happens is when a class uh, during the first invocation of the get instance a new object of the handler will be created by this if case and during the subsequent invocation of this get instance the database handler is not null at all so in that case the previously created handler object will be returned now we have to make modification in all these controllers so in the member add controller instead of accessing database ha new database handler we will have to use the static invocation so database handler dot get instance so that's fine the error is over right there now we have to in the list book in the list book controller we have to change this to database handler dot get instance so that's view is fine then uh, here in the add book section we have book add controller and there also we are calling new database handler so i'm going to replace that and one more right here member list controller so here we have new database handler so that's it now our database handlers single object is shared across all the classes so this was a very important part of this video so i'm stopping this session right here in the next video we'll see how to add listeners to our buttons previously created buttons to load the member window and the book window etc so thank you for watching and stay tuned